Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually testing out something kind of interesting. This thing right here is a mortar tank. I don't know what you'd actually call it. Uh, kind of like the Sturm Tiger, if you guys know what that is. It has a 38 centimeter thing? <laughs> 38 centimeter bore cannon, I guess, that fires rockets out of it, which is kind of insane. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and use this thing today to hopefully destroy some targets. So, let's get it driving, we'll move it outside, and we'll start blowing up some containers, because those are gonna be our targets. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so, first things first, how do I actually get in? That is the reloading hatch, we don't need that. The commander's hatch is right here, I guess we can just go in through that. There we go, entrance hatch. What is that? Oh, that's on the back. Ah! Okay, well, I seem to have messed up a lot on the top for now, but I'm sure it's fine. So let's go ahead and close that up. There we go. Let's go ahead and close this up, hopefully. Yes. And then, I don't know, try and figure out how to drive this thing. So, engine on. Starter. Headlights. Interior lights. Okay. Are we ready to go? I think... I think we're ready to go. I think we're moving. Yeah, all right, cool. We're actually driving this thing around. So, I think this seat that I'm currently in right now is, of course, just the driver's seat. And then the seat right behind me is... I don't know, I guess the gunner's seat? This is going to be interesting. I don't know how it's going to work. You will be able to see as well, there is actually a crane on this thing for reloading and stuff like that. You can actually reload the rounds into the top of this thing via that right there. If you have a little look in the back of this thing as well, there are actually our rounds right there. Uh, which are essentially just little rockets, and there's quite a few of them. I might actually just park up real quick right here like this. Do we have a parking brake? We do. Let's go ahead and put that on. We'll try and shoot the first container. Alright, gonna see. It. Here we go. Can I literally just fire the first one? Three, two, one, go! Wait a minute, what just happened? I feel like it just went straight through that. That's not what I wanted. Wait, can I not aim this up and down? We can zoom, but we can't aim it up and down. Interesting. Okay, how do we reload? That is the next thing we need to figure out. So, uh, I think I just take one of these. I lift it up and I put it on here. And then it slides into place. And then we fire it. Yes. Okay, that is legit how it works. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting that to work like that. If we then want to fire another one, we grab another one from here. We lift it up. We put it on the... on here. Oh, it's a bit of a struggle, but, you know, we'll get there. There you go. As long as it fits on properly, it would work. Although, it seems to be having some issues right now. Hold on. Come on. The first one was very easy. This one... Not so much. Get in there. There we go. It is actually attached now. Fire again. Three, two, one. It seems to go through the containers. Why? Okie dokie. So we are actually moving again. I have noticed there is a machine gun right here as well, just in case you want to use that. But I don't think we'll use that anytime soon. Anyway, let's go quite far away and see if we can shoot from, from back there. Also, side note, how fast can this thing actually go? We're at like 33, 34 kilometers an hour, 35, 36. It's going quite fast. Our fuel's quite low. Our gear, we're in eighth gear. That's quite a lot of gears. We're at 37. All right, you know what? We'll take it on the runway in a second and see how fast this thing actually goes. But for now, let's try and turn around. There we go. Aim towards the said targets. There we go. And see if we can shoot them from here, I guess. I don't know how this is going to work. Have we reloaded? We have not. So, grab another one of these, lift it up, bring it backwards, pop it directly onto this thing, if possible. There we go, let it slide straight in. It connects on, and then we can fire. Three, two, one, fire. It seems that it goes straight down, and I'm not sure why, but it's trying, you know? It's giving it a go. Okay, I found how you use the machine gun. It's the radio man seat back here. We can do a radio frequency right there, and this actually controls the gun on that, which is weird. That is very weird, but we can actually zoom in, and then I guess we can shoot. Oh, nice! That is more effective than I thought. Cool. Okay, we are reloading again. Get over here. Get onto there. There we go. Nice. I think that is actually on there correctly, kind of. Yep, it's now going in. Excellent. I wish I could, like, lean it upwards. 
I can't seem to aim it upwards. I'm just gonna go ahead and fire again. Three, two, one. Yeah, it seems to go down and then sort of through the ground. That's not the best. But anyway, we're going in. Let's go a little bit closer and we'll try and shoot them again from, I don't know, a little bit closer. So probably like, I don't know, around here, maybe from like point blank. I don't know. Let's get to like the second or third train track. Here we go. Maybe even the fourth one. Yeah, there we go. We're going to shoot it from here. Is that even on target? It might be. Okay, reload another one. So we have lots of rounds here, actually. Let's go ahead and chuck this one onto there as well. We're getting there. There we go. It's on. Nice. And then we can just fire it straight away. However, it looks like we're not aiming straight at anything. So we have to turn. Gear down. Here we go. Yes. Turn this on. Okay. I, mean, I suppose that's working. And then turn slightly sideways in order to be able to shoot at this guy. Yeah, there we go. And then at least we can see what kind of damage it does. Because hopefully, it's quite a lot. Here we go. Three, two, one. Nice! Okay, let's go see that damage. Oh. Uh, okay, a little bit less effective than I expected. But you know what? That's okay. So, yeah. Not very much damage. Kind of hard to aim. It is still cool, though. It has a reloading crane. And you can actually reload the rounds in its, like, unique reloading system, which is pretty cool. Anyway, let's get this to the runway and see how fast we can send it and uh, see how fast it goes. Oh, also, we should actually have a little look at the service hatch. It has an engine in the back. There you go. And this is where you actually do the crane from, which I believe does actually work. You can do all of these. So that's pretty nice. Anyway, let's go ahead and get in the entrance hatch, close that up, get to the driver's seat, and we'll drive all the way over there. And hopefully, um, I don't know, we'll see how fast it goes. Here we are, guys. Have you ever seen a Sturm Tiger or a Sturm Mauser? Is that what you call it? I'm not sure. On a runway? Well, probably not. So let's go ahead and send it and see what kind of speeds we can get. I don't really want to be turning too much, so let's try and figure out a straight line that we could go down. It does seem to turn to the right slightly, but that's okay. Right, here we go. We're at 38 kilometers an hour, and it doesn't appear to be changing. I'm in the highest gear. Let's go ahead and drop a gear. That will probably slow us down. Yeah, okay, we need to be in the highest gear in order to get highest speed, and that is only 38 kilometers now. Actually very slow. Okay, well, there's one more thing that I want to do to this thing. I want to use it as a target and see what kind of damage it can take. Okay, I am in control of 4C4. We're going to go ahead and shove one on the front. We're going to shove one on this side, around there. We're going to shove one on the other side around here there we go and we're also going to shove one on the back if this thing drives after this i would be very surprised but let's see if it does three two one oh yeah i actually know of course as soon as it gets hit by anything uh it will die <laughs> because it has a million warheads on the inside clearly it was just going to explode so there you go. Anyway, uh, check this thing out on the workshop if you guys want to test it out. It is kind of fun. It's um, it's an interesting vehicle and it does actually work quite well. It does look like we can pivot it right there though, and I didn't see that. I need to check that out. Oh my goodness. Okay, you can actually aim it up and down. So I don't know how I didn't actually figure that out, but you can also aim it from side to side as well. I, I really don't know how I didn't actually see that happening. That is so weird. Anyway, we found it out now, so maybe we should just shoot something else. Let's do it. So yeah, I, I genuinely don't know how I didn't see that. I don't think it was working to begin with, and that's probably a my bad issue, but... I don't know, weird. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and drive towards these guys over here. I'm assuming it's going to be quite hard to aim anyway, uh, but we'll see. Let's do it from all the way back here. If we need to fire another one, we can reload. So let's go ahead and do this. Aim it forwards. Nice. Let's go ahead and, I guess, lower it down a little bit. There we go. And I'm just going to fire it like this. Three, two, one. Did that miss everything? I feel like that missed literally everything. That's a yikes. Okay, so when it's not actually reloaded, it seems to go back to the normal position. Okay, that's cool. So then if we put this on here. Oh no, there's a tsunami or something coming. I don't want to deal with that. All right, there we go. Put that on there. Push it if we can. All right, there it goes. Nice, now I think it resets back to where it was. Let's lift this up a little bit and fire. Oh, that seemed like a good shot and everything. Never mind. Okay, so yeah, you can actually move it around as long as it's reloaded. I think that's the issue that I had. You have to have it reloaded to be able to move the actual mantlet. But that's okay. So, 
If I can put another one on here, we can maybe shoot the tsunami. <laughs> Clearly, you don't need to do that. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Right. So, um, let's lower it down slightly and fire again. Three, two, one. Oh, that looked like it should have hit, but it didn't. Yikes. All right, well, never mind. I'm going to go ahead and leave this video here for now. Check this thing out if you need to, if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.